Hello, hello everyone. My name is Paul Samayoi, and we're back for Pokemon Y Shiny Hunting Episode 62, Lapras. If you didn't watch the last episode, why didn't you? If you want a quick recap of the soft reset. Got 1,224. It's pretty good. Anyway, this episode's topic is by me. If you even, uh, you must have played the game to beat it. But anyway, how long or short did it take you to beat the game... Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy Color. Now, for me personally, I would say it could it could be different each time because it's mainly about luck and when you actually get the cards. Because of course, for me personally, I uh, I get my the specific cards for a certain deck, and um, those are only certain packs. You have to beat you have to beat those uh, duelists. For those to get those packs so it can be different each time because you can be like at a really uh really unlucky and it's going to take longer so i suppose the shortest time i would have beaten that game was uh i suppose maybe 12 hours the most probably 24 hours because like i said it depends on luck as well with these games so it's like it's pretty it's it's a lot of fa it's a lot to factor in. So uh, yeah, that's what's up with me. I want to know if you even uh, how long or short you have been in. I'm classifying the game as beaten every single duelist. So what? The really? I didn't. Oh my god! I didn't even soft reset. Come on, what are you doing, Paul? Gotta get in the freaking. <laughs> Gotta get in the the chain. Just just freaking. Cause this is how I do it. So when it when I don't get the shiny, and I make sure I check it, I soft reset and then I put the the soft reset up there. That's how I do it. But for this time, I just don't know why I didn't do it. Maybe I just got lost in thought. I don't know. But anyway, uh, oh yeah, might as well tell you a a really weird thing. Okay, I almost did it again. Dang it. Um. Anyway, a really weird thing I found out in Pokemon Platinum last night when I was playing so you know how shiny how uh, if you didn't know Gligar the pink flying rock flying Pokemon I think it's rock or maybe it's ground flying yeah it's probably ground flying but anyway so it's normal color is pink but in platinum for some reason it shows the sh it's shiny color as the normal color and I saw it for both female and male and it was both that so I really don't understand. Maybe Pokemon Platinum just has different colors for certain Pokemon, or maybe it's just the ROM that's like, like does that. Cause I was like, oh my gosh, you found a shiny Gligar, but then I was like, wait, I swear I didn't see a sparkle. And then I found another one. I was like, okay, this isn't shiny. And uh, yeah, so that was really dumb. Cause I got so hyped up. I was like, yeah, I finally found another shiny. But then no, like I caught it in one Pokeball, but it's like, doesn't matter now. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so dumb. Anyway, another Pokemon theory for you. Um, this is about... Oh, well, it's just pointing out a little Easter egg. So, the Legendary Bird Trio. If you... You know how they have how it says, uh, Articuno, Mol... No, Zapdos, Moltres... You see anything uh, hidden in the names? This is what I'll point it out for you. So the the ending of the game, the the names for Articuno, it's Uno, for Zapdos, Zapdos, it's Dos, and Moltres, it's Tres. So yeah, it's like Uno, Dos, Tres. That's the Spanish for one, two, three. So it's like a cool little Easter egg. I didn't even notice it until someone actually pointed it out like a long time ago when I watched in the video so it's really awesome right it's like it's crazy <laughs> it's so cool those little Easter eggs um uh, what else um oh yeah apparently the Pokemon Ditto is actually a failed clone of the Pokemon Mew you know how Mewtwo is like a a, a successful clone of Mew but anyway um Apparently, because there's lots of factors to back this up. First of all, they're both a pinkish color. Well, not exactly pink. Uh, Mew is like really bright pink. Ditto is like 
purple, I guess, so, well, I guess it's, no, actually it is pink, because, uh, an older game, well, at least in Pixelmon, it's like, it was the old versions, it was purple, <laughs> but anyway, they're both pink, and, uh, even their shiny colors, they're both light blue when they're shiny, and they weigh the same exact amount, and they both learn Transform, and they also, um, learn a huge amount of TMs, I think the same amount. Or maybe they don't, because I don't remember Ditto learning TMs. I think you can only have Transform. I don't know, but either way, they're like, I'm pretty sure Ditto is, is uh, yeah, proven to be a failed clone of Mew, so it's like, it's some really crazy stuff. And um, that one time when I was saying, um, if that Electrode uh, and Voltorb and Electrode are actually uh, possessed by a Haunter and a Gengar, it even proves that the, if you put the Haunter's eyes on a, and you match them up with Voltorbs, they're like exactly the same, so... Yeah, that's like another big factor to why uh, Voltorb and Electrode are just possessed by the Haunter and Gengar, so... That's another crazy thing to add on. What else? Um... Well... Huh. I'm trying to think of all the other ones. Um... Uh, crap. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the Generation 1, 1 theories, and I'll move on to, like, the second and all that other one. But anyway, um, uh, I don't know. What should you the other one? Okay, I don't want to stop talking because the freaking music is blasting, so I swear I'm probably going to get, get freaking copyright strike or something like that. So, oh, uh, man. Um... I think of the legendaries, the starters, the uh, yeah. I don't I don't remember any of the other generation one theories right now. I suppose yeah, because it could be like from the game or from the anime, but I just can't think of any others right now. So so yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna skip on to the generation two if I can if I can even remember any of those uh, okay I might as well um because I, I saw a video Pokemon theory video video last night theory top 10 theories and I didn't do that just to talk about it, like in here I just saw it just because it was like it recommended and all that so uh, anyway apparently the Pokemon the fossil Pokemon Kabu Cops is actually the same Pokemon as in Generation 5, the Pokemon Genesect. And the reason for this is, um, I guess Kabuto is like a, uh, a man-made Pokemon. Well, technically, no, because it's revived from a fossil, but so I don't know why it's technically man-made, but it definitely is man-made once it's, uh, Genesect because of, like, armored body. But anyway, yeah, if you look at their body structure and all that, it looks exactly the same, especially, like, the 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 head especially that gives it away so in ancient times it has those sickles because there wasn't that many things to worry about but now it's um gearing up for the future and it has like laser beams and that's how it's genesex so i guess it's like it's pretty much like the same same pokemon i guess so uh yeah i said i guess a lot i know i know and i say and i say so yeah a lot yeah i know i know but it's just this is what it's just what i am Anyway, um, I, crap, I really don't remember, oh yeah, this is a really interesting one. Okay, so, there's actually two. So there is in Pokemon X and Y, it started out, well, actually, I think it started out as that. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna say X and Y. So this is, um, random girl you can find in Lumio City. And, um, when you go into one of the buildings, and you go up, and when you go up into the elevators to the higher floor, she, like, floats over to you and says, you're not the one, and then, um, you meet her again, I think, in, in the swamp place, I think, Lavier Trail, I only know that specifically, because eventually I'm going to shiny hunt Poliwag there using the old rod, but anyway, um, yeah, so... Yeah, it's like a creepy Easter egg because she like she's like looking for someone and she's like the ghost and it's some creepy stuff. 
But anyway, um, there's also a cool little Easter egg also if you haven't heard of the, the Quid Shop Pokemon in Pokemon Red and Blue called Missing No. Missing is like, uh, well, something's missing and then N-O, no, is, uh, it has a dot after it. That means missing numbers so that that Pokemon shouldn't be existing and uh, you can only find it by doing a certain, certain series of glitches and... If you catch it, then uh, your game's going to be like glitched out and all that. So it's, yeah, it's pretty crazy, but uh, you can actually find that in Pokemon X and Y. In Lumio City, one of the dark, dark doors you look in, or I think it's a dark alley, you see like a little bit of missing no at the end. So it's like a cool little Easter egg for old, old school players. So it's really awesome. And then a really creepy theory is... In Pokemon Black and White, I think it's in the second or it's in the first one. I think they're because they're both, um, of course, parts of each other. First one is the first part, second one is the second part. But um, anyway, so the character N, actually, I think yeah, I think it is the first one. Yeah, I guess so. Well, anyway, the character N, the one, uh, is suppose, I guess he's the king or the prince or something like that well anyway he's a royalty and um, he's able to talk with Pokemon and stuff and when he was little he had a bunch of Pokemon friends so it's it's rumored you know how N has like a ponytail and all that kind of well yeah he does have a ponytail so this is Pokemon called Zoroark and this Pokemon can turn into other Pokemon with this ability called Illusion it actually works in battle if it has the ability it um disguises as one of the other Pokemon on your team. I think it's like a specific slot, like the the one next to it, like uh, like on the right of it or under it. I forget how exactly it works, but it like disguises, but once Zoroark gets hit, its illusion will be broken and then it will be revealed as Zoroark. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, it's a really cool ability, but also in the game, you you tend to see these um, encounter Zoroark a few times, like if you go somewhere, but then it like disappears, or if you're like talking to someone random, or just like uh, specific in the game, you talk to someone and then um, some of those times it'll be Zoroark, but um, Zoroark actually knows how to speak human, so it's like you can't even tell the difference. And uh, Zora, the the pre-evolution of Zoroark, actually you can find it in one of the um, one of the buildings in one of the one of the cities and and this girl is like talking about it and then it, there's actually Zora disguised as a little boy next to her and uh, he's like he's like blushing or something and she's like hey why are you blushing and then because he doesn't talk when you talk to him and it's like yeah it's pretty it's pretty crazy so anyway the thing why I mentioned N and this Pokemon are because are because is because that um, eventually when you reach to some like castle or something and you uh, you just see Zora going down the stairs and when you go down there Anna is certainly came out of nowhere the the character and the royal guy so anyway it's creepy because Zora was just here and then Anna's there and when you look at them close it's actually, it's actually Zoroark, N is Zoroark, because if you look at their facial, if you look at their whole body type, and especially the hair, that gives away most of it, and uh, yeah, I don't know why, but it's making me like tear up and all that, it's kind of like creepy, some of those things, but uh, yeah, I know it sounds pathetic, but anyway, this will be the last one we check. So yeah, it's like a, one of the creepier theories, but, <laughs> oh yeah, there's another cool one that I just remembered, I'll explain it in the next episode, because of course, I don't have this much time in this one, so yeah. But yeah, it's a lot of cool Pokemon theories, hope I can find and remember a bunch more, <laughs> and yeah, alright. So we did pretty, we did pretty good, ended off with... 1,247. Pretty good. Anyway, bye, Lapras. I've been your host, Ponce Tabayoi, and goodbye.